How can we find hope in our seemingly hopeless world? As the LGBT agenda attempts to take over the month of June for their purposes, we turn ever more to the traditional devotion for the month of June, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The LGBT community only offers illicit pleasures of this world. Our Lord offers a remedy to our sins and an eternal reward. This remedy is what we'll be talking about today. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and before we embark on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our inspiring stories. And if you haven't already, consider joining our Child of Mary program. By becoming a member, you'll receive four jaw-dropping gifts, which I'll tell you about later in this video. During this month of June, the Sacred Heart of Jesus beckons us to his burning heart, our greatest source of peace and hope. When he appeared to St. Margaret Mary Alacoque in the 17th century, he complained that hearts had grown cold and offered his heart as a remedy. As we witness wholesale apostasy, the rise of Satanism, divorce, suicide, substance abuse, and homosexuality with all of its facets, we see the sad reality that the world has turned away from God. In the words of one of our greatest Catholic thinkers, Plenio Correa de Oliveira, as Pope Pius XI once said, the contemporary world is so morally depraved that at any moment it could be plunged into a deeper spiritual misery than that reigning in the world when our blessed Redeemer was born. When we view the sinful world groaning beneath the weight of a thousand crises and a thousand afflictions, but nevertheless unrepentant, when we consider the alarming progress of neo-paganism, which is on the verge of conquering humanity, and when on the other hand we consider the lack of resolve, foresight, and unity among the so-called remnant of the faithful, we are understandably terrified at the grim prospects of catastrophes that this generation may be calling upon itself. And therein lies the true majesty of our Lord. For while it seems as though mercy and forgiveness are not within our reach anymore, and that surely humanity as a whole has crossed the line one too many times, that will never be the case, so long as we turn to the Sacred Heart with genuine remorse and seek amendment of life, as Our Lady of Fatima requested. If impenitent humanity has every reason to fear every catastrophe, repentant humanity has every reason to expect every mercy. Indeed, for God's mercy to be poured on the contrite sinner, his repentance need not have run its full course. Even while still in the depths of the pit, if the sinner but sincerely and earnestly turns to God with a budding repentance in his heart, he will immediately find our help, find God's help, for God never disregards him. God's mercy benefits the sinner even while divine justice cuts him down in the ways of iniquity. Modern man cannot lose sight of these two concepts, divine justice and divine mercy. Justice lest we dare presume that we can save ourselves without merits, mercy so that we do not despair of our salvation as long as we repent and start anew. We should also keep in mind our greatest advocate, Our Lady, the Holy Mother of God. Our Lady is our advocate and does solely what an advocate is supposed to do, defend the accused. Do we not have in Our Lady of the Sacred Heart the advocate of sinners? an all-powerful advocate before the bar of divine justice whose pleas for mercy will not be refused. To say then that Our Lady of the Sacred Heart is our advocate is equivalent to saying that we have an omnipotent advocate in heaven who holds the golden key to an infinite store of mercy. So what better solution for sinful humanity? A humanity that falls deeper into sin if justice is not mentioned but despairs of salvation if it is mentioned. By all means, let justice be mentioned. It is a duty, its omission has produced only pitiful fruits. But right alongside justice, which targets the sinner, let us never forget mercy, which helps the seriously repentant sinner to abandon sin and thus be saved. With this viewpoint, hope is all around us. All we have to do is ask with a humble and contrite heart, with Our Lady as our advocate in the sacred heart of Jesus, forever willing to forgive our mistakes and save us. No day will ever be too dark, no burden too heavy. Now, 
Remember when I mentioned earlier about joining our Child of Mary program? By becoming a member, you will receive four jaw-dropping gifts. Not only will you receive an ebook, the Book of Confidence, you will also receive a full subscription to Crusade Magazine. You will receive a beautiful metal lapel pin featuring a beautiful image of Our Lady. And most importantly, a daily mass will be said in your name. Yes, every single day, your name will be lifted up in prayer during mass. And the best part? As long as you're a member, you will continue to receive these gifts and have Masses said for you day after day, year after year. We have a special intention for our liturgy today, for our Mass. America needs Fatima's children of Mary. And especially, uh, we offer this divine liturgy for Lucy Cosgro, for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson, for Sarah. Just click the link in the description box below to become a child of Mary today and embark on this spiritual journey with us. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.